Sarah's need for validation and admiration is clear throughout this process because she has shown that it was more important for her to have her day in court than to have the reality check that the plea deal that she received was a gift for her. So her narcissism trait in this case of having to speak and having to testify and having to try to convince us one more time because she spoke in interrogation for two hours and her lips never stopped moving. Her pen never stops writing, but still people are not going to believe her. So she had to testify because she's unable to admit that she is wrong. It's the inability to have remorse, the inability to say, you know what? I did abuse alcohol all my life. I did mistreat him. That was horrible. It should have never happened. Maybe I didn't intend to. It was an accident. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. You're fine. But I did something that deserves punishment. I'll take the plea. I'll take the plea. That is a reality check, right? But she's unable to do that. And when that inability happens is what brings me to, it screams a narcissistic personality trait to me. The need for admiration, the need for attention, the need for the grandiosity. Because in her mind, this world is completely different than what we perceive.